watching Freaky. Excellent choice. You know, since I've been doing the show, I have to admit, I get a bit of a kick out of hearing my name on the TV. That's This Week on Freaky with Dan Costellilo. It's Costello. But how would you feel if you heard your name on TV and you weren't expecting it? Mr. Speaker, call this number now. Oh, wait. Just call this lunch. Just chill out. And... Yes, but it's John John. And I guarantee to cleanse your house. Can you just choose one channel, Tony? Go on. One more time. Just try it. Dad! She just broke my ruler! Come on, honey. Can you leave your brother alone, please? Dad, he was flicking me with bits of paper. So? I know. Let's get ready for dinner, okay? Can you set the table, please? Sure, Dad. <laughs> Wyatt episode 20 is now running. Safety files are loaded. The Prime Minister is delighted with these figures, saying our booming export industry is the largest contributor to this positive result. There's still no sign of the Wellington girl who went missing three days ago. Police say they have no firm lead to the disappearance of the 12-year-old schoolgirl and confirm she was last seen in her science class on Monday morning. Police and the family of Michelle Dillon are appealing to anyone who may have seen her in the last few days to contact them. At this stage, police are confusing any other comment on the case. Uh, Dad! What, honey? There was a photo of me on the news. It said I've been missing for three days. What? There was a photo of me on the news. It said I've been missing for three days. Don't be so silly, honey. Now, can you go and wash up for dinner? I'll go and get a brush and shovel. But, Dad... Your dinner will get cold if you stand there moaning. Come on, Karen, let's just have dinner, eh? All right, Dad. What did you call me? Karen. Why? Because that's your name, sweetie. My name is Michelle, Dad. Look, if you're going to play these stupid games, I'll get you to wash the dishes as well as set the table. But, Dad... Go and wash up now. Mum! Look, Karen, I'm not getting involved in this. Your father said go and wash up. <sighs> Mum, did you see the front page of the paper? Yes, I did. Terrible, isn't it? Did you know her? Ah, uh, kind of. My name is Michelle Dillon. I just don't understand it. Okay, can come? Don't panic. The police, they won't help finding the missing Michelle. Well, they will give better help than this. Uh, police, please. I want to talk to someone about Michelle Dillon. Putting you through now. Detective Brownlee. Uh, hello? This is Michelle Dillon. What? Look, who is this? I know this sounds kind of weird, but it, it is me. You have to believe me. I just discovered that, uh, well, um, I saw myself on the news, and when I told Mum and Dad it was me, they didn't believe me. I'm not surprised. No, look, it's me. You have to believe me. Trying to find a missing girl. Now, was there anything else? Uh, no. Good. <sighs> Come on, honey. Dinner's ready. What's going on? Michelle, quick. Listen to me very carefully. I'm here to help. Come here. She has discovered us. She must have heard us on the phone. Idiot! How could you let this happen? You know we can't return home without a young human. Hey, what? I've seen you on the telly. That's right. Look, I've been after these guys for ages. Look, put your hands on the TV. Well, hurry up and open the door or she'll get away. Look, there's no time to explain. Put your hands on the TV. Honey! Trouble for mucking this up. 12 year old Wellington.
Brockton schoolgirl Michelle Dillon was reunited with her family today, four days after she went missing. Police have confirmed she has no recollection of the event and are continuing their search for her kidnappers. As yet, they have no firm leads. More to come in this news hour when we return. OK, kids, time for dinner. How about you two guys wash up first, huh? Last one to the bathroom does the dishes. All right, then. Don't muck this one up. You're lucky we've been given another chance. Oh, and I'd get rid of that TV if I were you. Remember how the other one found out? Technology. You never know when it might go a bit haywire. <laughs> See? That was hockey. Good. Mm-hmm. Well, I've still got heaps to do, so... Do you mind hanging around for another hour? An hour? Well, you must have some homework to do or something. Yes, both. Yeah, come on. Let's get your homework out of the way. And then we can get some takeaways on the way home. And what about a video? All right. Yeah. And you can use the computer, too, if you want. Oh, great. Playing up. Is it urgent? Sort of. It's for this project thing. Well, there's one upstairs. Do you mean up there? No, it's just empty office space. Oh. You want me to hold your hand? No, it's okay. It's in the main office. Just light switch by the stairs.
Is anybody here? Does someone need help? It must be a joke. in here using the photocopier. She's about 13. No. I've been in here for quite a while fixing the copier. I haven't seen anyone. There was somewhat something stuck in it. But it's all right now. Oh. Well, um, if you see her, could you just tell her to go to her mum's office? Sure thing. That story didn't freak you out, I don't know what will. One thing's for sure, I'm never going near a photocopier again. The party's in an hour and we've already been to five costume places. Why don't you just go as a... Cowboy or something. Because I'm gonna go as a superhero. Hey Tim, you should go as a cowgirl. <laughs> Shut up, Simon. Hello? Well, can you hang on a sec? Go inside and have a look. Okay. I'll be in in a sec. my magical kingdom. In here I can be anything I want to. Today I'm feeling a little witchy. <laughs> and tomorrow... 
tomorrow. Who knows? Perhaps even a superhero. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dear. We're all out of superhero costumes. Where did you need it for? Today. Hmm. Wait. There is one superhero costume out the back. And you look like a good boy. The best, truly. <laughs> Have you found something? <laughs> Ta-da! It's pink! Pink is a very powerful colour. We'll take it. But Mum, there's no way I'm going to the party dressed in that. Call me if you want to get picked up, darling. See you later, Captain Puppy. <laughs> Sure you're not going to ballet practice? <laughs> no, I just need to go home. Well, that's a shame. Cause those pigantes sure look good for a witchy. <laughs> so quick. Did you fly or something? Sort of, yeah. Must be because you look like a fairy. Get it? <laughs> no, jokes. Seriously, you look cool. Ow! Ow! You can wear it after school. Where's your costume, hero? It's, it's underneath my uniform. Stay back or I'll use my powers. <laughs> Boys, please bluff it. What do you think? <laughs> Someone would help me lift the truck. <laughs> I wish somebody would help me get my car down from the tree. This is just getting ridiculous! <laughs> Gotta come out sometime. <gasps> Mum! Where's my costume? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I had to throw it out. What? Well, it shrunk in the wash. I didn't think you'd want it anymore. <laughs> Yeah. 
Looks like you need a hero. Thing. Well, you just look at the person and think about... No, it's payback time. My nan innocent me this jumper, but the only special power it's got is to make people throw up. I can deal with wearing a stink jumper. It's the knitted undies I draw the line at. I'll see you next week. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.